Hello everyone, Mika here. Welcome to episode 8 of our Remaking Pong in Unreal Engine 5 for Beginners. Uh, where we left off last episode is we now have a fully working game of Pong, uh, albeit with a couple of bugs, so it's time for us to start thinking about the final touches. So today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding a main menu with three buttons, two of which are going to do something for now. Uh, the next one we'll add in a later episode. Uh, so we are going to start off today by going to File and New Level. We're going to open up another basic level. And uh, we're going to straight away, Control and S, I'm going to save that as Menu Map. Perfect. Now open up Content Draw and in the right click menu you will need to go User Interface Widget Blueprint and User Widget and we're going to call it menu underscore umg and open it up now in Unreal Engine 4 you didn't need to do this but what we will do is we're going to add a canvas panel and then at the top of the page you're going to zoom to fit and it should show up for the whole screen let me stroke this across so you can see it a little bit clearer perfect so what we're going to do is first thing is going to grab a text box and we're going to make sure it's anchored in the top left so they're always regardless of screen size always stays in the top left of the screen and we're just going to call this uh, we'll call it Pong but uh, we'll call it Poom instead and we're going to make it bigger and what we're also going to do is we're going to change the font to something a little bit more video gamey. So I've gone ahead and downloaded a font from dafont.com, link in the description, and I'm just going to import that. When you import, it will ask you to do a, if you want to create a new font asset, obviously say yes. And then on the right hand side of your UMG, under font family, you should have your font available for you. I'm going to add an outline of five pixels just to give it that little uh, black outline around the, the lettering. And then we have our main title of the game already there and set up. Next, we're going to need the actual menu itself. So we're going to get a vertical box. We're just going to fill it out a little bit, so drag it over, change the anchor to the center of the screen. So if you have a screen that's really short, it will still be in the center of the screen. Obviously, it doesn't make a difference if you have uh, a wide screen in this case. And we're going to open a button in there. And in that button, we're going to have a text. We're going to change that text to be start game. And we're going to give it an outline of just two pixels. We're going to change it to our font and compile and save. What we can also do is if you select the button itself and drop down style, under normal and tint, just set it down to uh, a zero alpha. If you press F2 on any item on the left hand side, you can rename it straight away without going to right click and rename. So I'm just going to rename this start game and I'm going to right click on it and duplicate so it duplicates the text as well. This one's going to be called statistics and this one's going to be exit game. Don't forget to go into the text of each one and fill in the text differences. So this is to statistics and this one will be exit game. File and save. So all we need to do is click on start game, the button not the text and scroll down the bottom of the details panel and you have an on clicked button. Click the big green plus and it'll add the event straight away. All you need to do, drag off the execute node, open level by name and we're going to put in the name of our level which I'm just going to double check in the drawer is Pong level not Pong map so we can call that Pong level. Well and save. 
in our content drawer, we're going to have to create a couple more things. We're going to have to create a blueprint class. It's going to be a player controller. We're going to call this one menu underscore PC. And we're going to need a blueprint class. And we're going to have to create a game mode, which again will be called menu underscore GM. In the game mode, if we open that up, and on the right hand side, we have to change the controller to menu PC, compile and save. And in the menu PC, we need to tick the show mouse cursor. Well, and save. Once you're back in your map itself, it's nice and easy to change from a menu to the game. All we need to do is go up to the blueprint icon at the top and under weld override, we need to select menu GM, which will automatically change the, the player controller. And at the moment, where the camera will spawn wherever the user is at that time. So we're going to need to add a camera. So on the left hand side here under Place Actors tab, if you don't have this, if you click the plus icon here and go Place Actors panel, you're going to drag a camera out, place it wherever you like. I'm just going to have it so you can't see the background and make sure it's selected and under also activate for player you want it to be player zero so now if you play the game the camera automatically is it regardless of where you are when you start so now we have a camera we have a map we have a menu but we don't have the menu loaded into the game yet to do this, you need to go to your player controller that you just created for the menu, open full blueprint editor, and on the begin play, all you need to do is drag off of there, type in create widget, select your menu, and under the return value, you want to do add to viewport. Well, and save, and that is everything. All you need to do then is click start game and it should load up the game. But obviously the other two buttons don't do anything at the moment. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have a, a quick time lapse of me building a small menu. I'll be back with you very shortly. Nothing amazing, but uh, as you can see, I've just put a couple of bits and pieces together. And if we click the play button now, you can see we have the options here, start game, statistics and in-game. Uh, we have the menu, click start game, and we can load up the game. One thing I am going to add before we finish is the exit game button here. So if you highlight the button and click on the button and not the text, same as before for the start game, if you click on clicked and a plus, you just need to drag off of the execute note and type quit game. Well, and save. So there we have uh, the main menu. Uh, start, starts the game. And we'll go back to play again. Exit game, exits the game straight away. Compile and save. So there we have it guys, there's another quick episode today just to show how to build a menu. Uh, the next episode though, we are going to be adding a winning scenario uh, and we may even have it so we can edit that as well. Uh, 
After that, we're going to have the statistics panel, and we'll have be able to load and save the file for there. And yeah, fantastic, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe if you like the series, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you very much.